Hello YouTube. Uh, just wanted to do a quick review on something I just purchased yesterday. As we're filming this, I believe it's Saturday, November 20th of 2021. I picked up this uh, Bella large griddle. Uh, has an electric probe, so I wanted a tabletop, but I saw this and it's only for $15. I mean, amazing deal. So let's see how good it is. It states it's a nonstick coating surface for hassle-free cooking. Dishwasher safe, which is always good. It has a drip tray and a removable temperature control probe. And has 1500 watts of heating system. So this is basically for, I was looking for something so I could do pancakes. You know how difficult it is just to have like two pans out to just make pancakes. So I'm assuming that, or hoping that this griddle will solve that problem. So we're just gonna make some pancakes and bacon and then just overall just kind of see where this lies. Um, is it worth the buy? I think $15. I mean, I don't think we can dispute that. So we'll give it a shot. So guys, this is kind of it. Hold on. I just got to get a different angle. Uh, so that's the griddle there. All right. So this is what it comes with. This is the probe. And I'll show you guys how to insert it. So there goes the temperature gauge. So what it states is... Um, there's a light indicator there. So once you set this at the temperature you want, okay, this will remain lit until it reaches that temperature. Then it should shut off. So that means it's ready and it's hot. The surface is ready to go for you to make whatever it is that you want to make on there. All right. So it comes with this completely nonstick surface. This is actually really big. I mean, it's going to take up two burners, which is pretty good. It does have legs, so I have to fit in between. That's the back of it. Okay. It does have a drip tray. You guys see? So, so far, I mean, just because of the feel of this seems really, really nice. I mean, $15. I mean, can you even get a meal now for 15 bucks? The way inflation is going, sheesh. All right, so let me just show you guys how this goes in. So it's very fairly simple. Uh, there's a side here where you insert the probe. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, let's not comment on that. All right, so you just slide it in. There's these two pins. It should just line up and just snap right in. Hold on. There it is. It's in. All right. So I was thinking about how I wanted to use this. I'm going to use a nonstick spray. I guess you guys can use butter, so that's the reason why I have that out as well. Just to see what's good in it. And just plug this in. All right. <coughs> so we have some just pancake batter here. It's not the best. I mean, I just made this really quick. Just give it a shot and see how's it going to turn on. I know I should have been using a whisk. Please don't comment on about that. Um, just going to use some turkey bacon. Not a big bacon fan, so I prefer to use the turkey bacon. I know some of you use it like gross, but whatever. This is just for a test. Um... First, let me spray this before we even, hopefully I don't get it everywhere. I think that should do. I don't want to put too much because I want to see how the nonstick actually performs here. So don't base this on my cooking skill. Everything is just bland. I'm not doing any, any of you guys who have seen me cook before, you guys know I get down with the get down. But uh, yeah, let me just cut this open. Let's turn this on first. Uh, I'm assuming, I think that this stated to do pancakes, you want it at somewhere around 350, but I don't even know if I'm gonna put it out. How, where the hell is the gauge? The arrow, does it go to, oh, I would assume it goes to that where the light indicator is. I know you guys can't see it. I don't wanna move it right now, but I have it around 300, I'm gonna say. I don't wanna make this too, too hot. I actually, Last night, I unboxed it, everything, just to see that it, it would work. Because for $15, I mean, guys, you can't go wrong with this. At least I think you can't. You know, unless someone can prove me wrong. I, and like I said, I don't know anywhere where you can get something like this for 15 bucks. I mean, I've looked at tabletop ones. The cheapest I've seen was like 25 30 bucks. They were kind of awkward, very cheap. So let's see what this does. This might be worth the deal. I believe it, it already is. As long as she works, it should be worth it. Let's make sure that this gets hot. So supposedly, let me show you guys. I don't know if we could move this. It's probably going to be terrible. So I don't know right there if you can kind of see that light indicator. It's like 
little bit orangey set to like 300 so we'll give this a shot and see so we'll do like i says there's some pancakes on here well that's going to be on here excuse me guys and then a little bit of uh some turkey bacon i know you guys think it's gross I can already tell that that surface is really sorry that you guys can't see me but i think the surface is getting really hot already let's wait to see if that probe turns off before i set the i'm gonna do the bacon probably on this side and do like a couple of pancakes here let me get stuff to put this on it eh, doesn't matter i was gonna try and do a fancy plate but it's unimportant it's not about right now it's just to see how the griddle actually works how it performs um i'll tell you guys is it worth it 15 dollars right now like i says it is the bella large griddle okay like i says uh it's a 10 and a half by 20 non-stick coating surface so that's good 1500 watts of heating system that's actually pretty powerful but uh it says fry flip serve uh, looks pretty good there I think this is a no-brainer, guys. I mean, like I said, I picked this up by accident. And, uh, yeah, there's some instructions here, I believe, that are in Spanish on the back. So, those bilingual people. For household use only, I would assume. I would assume. Makes 10 eggs, it says here, or pancakes. PFOA-free non-stick coating, which is good. Built-in ledge with a uh, backstop for ease flipping. Yeah, this thing has legs on the bottom, so there. Oh, I should have showed you that. Um, yeah, so I have them in between two burners, and it's standing perfectly. So, we'll just see. But uh, what else? Cool touch handles. All right, let's see that. They are cool. Because I think only this middle thing, which that doesn't come out. I was surprised. I actually thought this came out. It doesn't. It's just the uh, the drip tray actually comes out. So I guess for cleaning. And it says it's dishwasher safe. So we'll see. We'll give this a shot. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Let's just see how well she cooks. It's already burning on top of there. I already see the nonstick spray that I put on there. I'm already starting to see it burn over here. I'm waiting for this light indicator. Supposedly the light indicator goes off. Once it's at temperature, mm, you can feel the heat, guys. I can tell you this is hot. So, like I said, we have it at 300 and uh, makes 10 eggs or pancakes. That's pretty awesome. So, guys, if you guys ever have companies and you want to break this out or even for yourself, because I do believe it's hard to make pancakes, you know, on a regular pan. Meaning that if you're going to make several of them, then you got to use a couple of pans and it just makes a fucking mess. Excuse me, but. I just didn't want to get into that. So I always looked at a griddle, but it wasn't the most important things. I have so many pots, pans, everything. It was never, but I always said to myself, well, I find one at a good price. You know, maybe I'll pick it up and, and test it. I know I had one of these many, many, many years ago. I'm probably thinking about 20 plus years ago. So, all right, guys, don't judge me. Oh, we'll try a couple of pieces of these. Gets, all right, so the light indicator did go off. So I'm assuming it's telling me it's ready. So, let's give this a shot. Let's see if there's a sizzle here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That is nice. I know most of you guys don't like turkey bacon. I don't mind. Wow, it's very, very slippery. And that's not what she said. Whoa, relax. All right. All right, let's focus. Enough of that. Oh, this is this is very, very nice. I'm not going to lie. It's just, look at this. It slides all over the place. I mean, will it remain like that? Excuse me, guys. I gotta wash my hands. But let's let that cook for a second. Excuse the noise. I'm gonna turn the water on. Wash my hands real quick. Uh, and also, I should have had some tongs or something to flip this bacon, but I'll get that now. Remember, guys, this is not one of my cooking section, sessions, so there's not going to be anything fancy, nothing that, like, I'm trying to teach you guys or whatever, because I normally do, like, a cooking for bachelor kind of deal. I haven't done it in a while. Hopefully, I'll get back into it. 
But so this is just the review of the Bella large griddle. So like I said, it's $15 guys. So far so good. I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not I approve of it. Um, is it worth a buy? As of now, I really do think I mean fifteen dollars, guys. Come on. So something I was excited about. Like I said, you, you, I couldn't find any of these for like under thirty dollars, and then they were very chinzy. So I saw this. I'm like Macy's. They always have good products there. So, and I bought this accidentally. Show it again. One more time. Bella. Fifteen bucks, guys. You know. I mean, it came out to, what, well, we used Macy's card, but again, it was like a dollar off that, so it was like $14, and then um, I gave a $2 donation for St. Jude's, we gotta remember, let's save those kids, St. Jude's is, is, is awesome, so, this is not sponsored or anything, I just kind of feel it's a thing to do, especially around the holidays. whatever i mean i know two dollars isn't much but i mean we do this with everything so during the christmas thing we're probably going to be spending probably 100 to 200 dollars on donations and stuff so it's always we always get we try to at least so far this is cooking pretty nice i'm impressed i'm wondering if that does slide down to the drip tray because that's just some grease right here but uh yeah we'll see I know this video is a lot longer than I anticipated, but uh, I mean, I probably will edit it and cut it down just to, you know, give you guys my, my true opinion. But I'm telling you right now, as of now, I, I cannot see this not being a recommendation, especially at a price and especially around the time, you know, of the holidays and everything. And if you're looking for like gift giving or housewarming, I think it's not a bad thing only 15 bucks hey listen times are tough and i get it some of us are trying to and these are ways i saw a lot of things on sale well, i guess as any of you that have been looking for a griddle hey this is the gift that keeps on giving especially for any of you foodies out there like me i mean i don't think you can go wrong I mean, the only thing I would say about this, because like if you had it in a regular pan, I'm assuming, this would cook a lot faster, especially if you're using regular bacon because of all the grease. But I try to cut that down. I mean, I'm old and, uh, you know, I got to watch what I'm eating sometimes. So I know some of you think that turkey bacon isn't real bacon, but uh, I don't mind it. It's not my absolute favorite, but if I'm going to eat some bacon, if they do have turkey bacon, uh, I'll tend to use that. This is actually really nice. I'm not kidding. Look at how this slides. This is so awesome. There's no sticking. You know, I only use a little bit of uh, cooking spray on here. But it um, feels really nice. Hey, guys. I'm going to... Let's see if we throw some of this batter. That is the thing. Uh, my girlfriend was yelling at me because I used a fork. Which... Uh, most people use what the hell is that called? I am like crazy. A spatula or whatever. I don't know. But I'm so old school. I learned this from my mom. I always grab a fork. I don't know why. When I actually have one, check it out. Hold on. Where is it? A whisk. I'm sorry. All right. I can't find a whisk. I don't know where the whisk is. My girlfriend has a tendency to put stuff. But like I'll put it in one place. She changes it. So whatever. I didn't use a whisk. I use a fork. I'm so old school. It's like we were so poor, you know, you, you use what you have. But I'm so used to that. I mean, we have all the necessary utensils to cook with and everything. And I'm, I'm always using the wrong thing. So my girlfriend tends to get mad at me. I don't know why. It's the same result, right? What difference does it make? Uh, let's try to put one over here, see, see what happens. See how this comes out. Let's make one like a medium-sized one. We'll, we'll see. I don't know if I have the room to put two because then it's all over the other stuff. I don't want to do that. I want to show this separately see how she cooks one thing is these pancakes you want to start seeing those holes before we turn them over so yeah like i said the bacon's taking a little bit longer but that, that's not an issue for me i never rush when i'm cooking even though chat well guys on youtube 
I'm just saying, don't take this as a cooking lesson because like I said, this is plain, simple. There's nothing to it, nothing fancy. Um, I will be doing some more of those videos on, on my cooking series. Like I said, uh, I try to cook for bachelors. That's kind of like uh, single guys who, you know, just want to go and, and impress a woman and stuff like that. And um, just chivalry is not dead. So that's kind of what I like to do. All right. Let's see how these pancakes are turning out. It doesn't look bad so far. You know, maybe I had the heat a little bit low. I didn't want to put it up too high. I don't like to burn anything. Because I think it suggests you should be somewhere about 350, 375. I have it at 300. Oh, if this thing turned on. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Probably somewhere around 325, something like that. Maybe you do need that heat. At least the first time using it. I mean, I love the fact. Look at this. It's not burning me. That's good. I wouldn't suggest putting I just wanted to see if it's still sliding. Like I said, the nonstick seems to be working great. You know, but we'll see like after a couple of uses. But guys, once again, not that it says, listen, I'm not getting paid for this, but I just like to pass on some savings. Any of you guys are looking for like for yourselves or for, you know, to give someone maybe a housewarming gift or anything, a Christmas gift to somebody who might be uh, needing a griddle for 15 bucks. Hey, like I said, this is at, uh, November 20th of 2021. I just bought this yesterday, so. All right, this looks good. You see, when you start to see those bubbles in there, that means it's just about ready to flip. Let's see how easy this is. I should have used a bigger spatula. That, that was pretty smooth, guys. I'm not going to lie. Guys, that was... I'm impressed. I'm not kidding you. I love the way that that flipped. There's nothing underneath it. Bacon's just about done. I, I think I'm going to pull that out. I don't want it too burnt. You know, this isn't the regular bacon, it's turkey bacon, so sometimes it being too burnt isn't too great, so. I just have the butter out there to, just in case I didn't know if I was going to do this with the cooking spray. Or I, I tried the cooking spray, maybe I'll try butter another time. I don't know. I just wanted to see this, but the nonstick is, is phenomenal. All right, you know what? We're going to get some of this turkey bacon juice on here. Let's make another pancake. Might as well. See how this works. I didn't make too much of this, because like I said, this is just a test. I'm just doing uh, just a simple review, because I kind of thought anyone who's looking, like I said, for a griddle, I, I thought this was just a phenomenal deal. $15, guys. Can you even buy a meal today for $15? I don't know. You know, maybe you can. I don't know. But it kind of seems like everything is just at an all-time high right now. All right, I think that pancake's done. Give me a second, guys. Sorry for the noise. Rinsing this out. I hate to have stuff all over this. I like to rinse it, then I'll come back in, wash the dishes. All right, guys. Well, this is done. Excuse my big shenanigan. All right. Look at that. That came up. Guys, that came up 100% almost. Like, that is, do you guys see that? It's just a little bit here that comes right off. Let's wait for the other pancake. Man, that came out perfect. Guys, I, once again, Macy's. The Bella, oh, that's in Spanish, I'm sorry. The Bella Large Griddle, a 10 and a half by 20. Hey, listen, there's enough cooking space here. I, did, I, I want to admit to that. It's a lot you can do with this, you know, instead of you, using so many pans I, I think this is excellent i think it's a win-win i'm not kidding you all right it's just getting out some syrup we're gonna try this i don't know we'll see excuse me all right this is should almost be done Sorry, I got to bend down. It's only one person doing this. I can't hold it with one hand. Uh, yeah, so this is almost done. We'll give it a taste test. I'm pretty sure it's good. Like I said, I didn't do anything special because normally I don't do plain pancakes like that. I like to spruce it up, give it some fruit, something like that. A little bit of cinnamon. Give it some flavor. But uh, this is just regular batter. I just wanted to just give up. This is, like I said, this is not a cooking show. All right, this is just me testing this Bella. Okay, large griddle. And I think so far it's a win. Guys, look at this. This is amazing. 
$15? Come on, guys. You know, maybe I'll do some other things. They also had a panini press for 15 bucks there at Macy's. On, but I should have bought that as well. Dude, I love making hot sandwiches. A panini press, I would have, but you know what it is? We have limited space. My, my girlfriend's looking at me like, what else do we need? <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of, look at how smooth, look how smooth that is. Look at these pancakes. They're perfect. And I even had the bacon on this side. This is phenomenal. Guys, I'm really impressed with this. Now, mind you, this one's getting cold, but I could have put it on. I just didn't want to mix stuff up. This is just a test. Like I said, I normally would do the pancakes, bacon on one side. But this is just the first test. Um, I'll probably be doing a follow-up. Because, like, the more and more that you use this, you want to see how durable it is. But I still say, hey, listen, if you got six months use out of this for 15 bucks, I mean, that's, which I'm assuming this has at least a year warranty. I'm not sure. But, uh, and also it comes with, oh, I forgot to show you guys. Hold on. Sorry. So this is the thing. And supposedly it also states that you can download, if you go to their website, I believe, you can get some recipes and everything. Hey, guys, 15 bucks. Are there recipes in here? I'm not sure. It tells you how long, I know that, but how long you need to, or the settings, the heat. Gives you the instructions on that. I was reading that yesterday. Uh, I don't know where the chart is. Forgive me, guys. But this pancake's almost done. All right here. So it says food. Right there. And it gives you different foods. So one is bacon, sausage, French toast, hamburgers, or ham slices, sandwiches, pancakes, pork chops, steaks. Wow. This is pretty nice, guys. I thought they said... I could be wrong. Maybe there are some recipes in here. I'm just... Going through this real quick. No, it's in Spanish. I don't think, but I, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can go onto Bella's website and they, they do have some recipes there. But guys, you guys know you could just go on YouTube and find recipes. So pretty simple. I think this is done. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Look how easy that is. Oh my gosh. Cook perfectly. This is unbelievable. It's actually sticking to this more. It's not really sticking to it. It's just, I don't know the way. I, yes, I had it held. All right, how do you turn this? This is going off this way. All right, it's off. I'm going to unplug it. I like to unplug everything just to make sure. That we're going to let this cool down and see how easy it is to clean. But uh, I'll probably be stating that on the next one. Let's just give this a try and see how. Let me just get a fork real quick. Not the most fancy fork. We'll use some maple syrup. Uh, I normally like to put butter and all that, but I'm not doing that right now. We're just going to try this really quick. I don't even know. tell you the truth. We don't really eat uh, pancakes too often. So I don't know how long this maple syrup has been sitting here. I don't think it goes bad, does it? <laughs> if it did, we'll taste it right now. I like to have enough syrup, so forgive me, guys. Let's taste this. No, the maple syrup's fine. Okay, at least I'm not poisoning myself. Sorry for me turning my back. But... All right, let's give this the ultimate thing. First off, let's check to see the bacon. Hold on. Just why we cook it in any pan. Good. Ah, uh, pancakes. Make sure, guys. Hold on. That I get some of the syrup. I hate dry pancakes. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Especially I didn't even really spruce them up. All right. Once again, guys, I'm probably going to release this video really quick because I want you guys to get the savings that I got. I, I believe this griddle was over $40 on sale at Macy's. The Bella Large Grill Griddle, once again, $15. You cannot go wrong. And I believe if you open up a Macy's card, they give you even an additional 20% off. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, I see you guys on the next one. Bye.